G'day Improvators, my name's Tim. Welcome back to my I Am The Improvised line. Designed to help you with your musical improvisation and composition in the 21st century. This is episode 8 of the Lockdown Learning Quick Tip series. Today we're going to look at how powerful a different bass note can be when you're playing a chord. Let's get into it. Quick welcome to our seven new subscribers this week. Thanks very much and keep on learning. When you're sitting down and composing or improvising or just playing around with different chords, you can find some really interesting things. When we look at chords in music, you've got triads that are three note chords, tetrachords that are four note chords and pentatonic chords that are five note chords. Let's look at some four note chords. One of my favorite chords is the sixth chord. It uses the first, third, fifth, and sixth notes of a scale. It's used a lot in electronic organ music and they want to have four note chords all the time. When a triad will probably just do. When we look at the sixth chord it uses the first, third, fifth and sixth notes of the scale. Now if we play a C6 with the C bass it has that nice rich major sound. If we play it with the 6th note, an A bass has a minor sound. That's because it's the A minor 7th. So all 6th chords are its relative minor 7th. They use exactly the same notes. So if you're going from say a G7 to a C6, you go from a, an E seventh to an A minor seventh. So they're both examples of dominant to tonic 5-1 and you can really hear the difference of major to minor. One of my favourite chords. It happens all the way around the cycle of keys. So every sixth chord is its relative minor seventh. All you got to do is change the bass note. That's the power of the bass note. We have a look at another example. Let's take an E minor 6. Take the 6th note, put it on the bass. Sounds really different. The E minor 6 uses E, G, B and C. The 1st, 3rd, 5th and 6th notes of the scale. But they're the same notes as a C major 7th. That's two examples of great chords. The sixth chord, major and minor. The major sixth is its relative minor seventh. And the E minor sixth is, if you take the sixth note, it becomes the major seventh chord. You'll play around with the chords and see what else you can find that's different and interesting. Look forward to hearing your results. You're still here, so now it's time for a quick word from our Aussie English. And today's term is in it. Do you want to be in it? Go on, be in it. The it that you may ask to be in could be anything done in the company of other people. Be in it. Change some of your chords. Change your bass notes to get better chords. Be more creative. In it. Will you be in it? Get involved. My name's Tim. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. If you learned something new, tell us about it in the comments below and remember to subscribe. To learn more about music improvisation and composition, click on either of the screens that you see here. Remember to share this with your friends and I'll see you in the next video.